Okay, now let's handle the breeding and the first generation pets so that we can see how everything works together. The inside of the Eco Breed, there's a setting script that we went over in the first tutorial. And if you come down to the breeding section, uh, we'll just go over this real quick. Uh, it, it'll look for a mate every one minute, which right now is fine because we want it to have to happen quickly for this tutorial. Um, it, it will render both male and female um, with a 50% chance to have um, a, uh, a female versus a male. Uh, it requires a, a partner, so it's not unisex. It will not allow for inbreeding or incest. And um, this is a monogamy setting, so it will um, disable any kind of uh, multi-partner breeding. So once they keep their their meat, their uh, their breeding mate, uh, it will keep that that partner for its life. Now let's um, now that this is is favorable to what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, let's remember there's currently no skin set for this. There's no animations or other actions involved. It's uh, we're simply just going over uh, the breeding. Okay, so that's all set the way we want it for now. And uh, inside the action object, the the settings are currently allowing for any object to be resed as the breeding object, um, which makes the this this next setting uh, redundant. This is in case you want a specific object. Perhaps you want other resibles from your action object as well as um, as well as the breed itself. Um, we're going to want to set this uh, to a little smaller radius because we're going to install this into our little doghouse that I've uh, put together here. Okay, um, this allows for an infinite number to be resed, uh, to be br um, bred, created from uh, any given pair, but it only allows for one breeding pair to uh, to use that nest or that uh, that area, uh, that object. So. Uh, this also um, is becomes redundant because it, this would otherwise kill the action object, make it die as soon as the, um, the 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 maximum number of children have been bred. So the only thing we've changed here is the offset just to make it fit. That's in in meters. Let's remember. Um, and we also just for the sake of this tutorial we'll just go ahead and enter in the expression my gender so we know who's a male and who's a female I'm going to uh, quickly create a few um, animals uh, that are first generation breeds that will be used for actual breeding um, you can actually insert these scripts inside of the the breeds themselves but it won't be necessary for this tutorial because we want them to breed from the doghouse. Okay, uh, so we have our scripts that we're going to install in here, and I'll uh, also want to change because uh, we don't. I don't want to have any text over my house. Okay, I don't. I just felt like doing that, and we don't want it to be a food source. So we're turning off food source, turning off hover text, and this is simply a breeding object right now. So I'll save that. Now, as this stands, in the breed setting script, the auto activate being true, this means that it is a first generation child. That this object is the one that you would send out, you would sell initially as, as parents, and you would disable this so that let's let's move let's create a new one here let's make this our child and let's call it let's, let's just say false because that now indicates that this will not activate from uh, from being saved so if there were skin sets they would not be set it's basically idling waiting to be uh, activated by a breeding object, which since this has the scripts, now it has the scripts. Since that has the scripts, it's the breeding object. If you put the scripts in there, it would that would be a um, a, a breeding object. So 
we have our little pet here, and that's our second generation um, a child, and, and subsequent generations. So we, we take that into our inventory. We'll put that inside of the breeding nest. Okay, so now we have, and we, and we don't need this now. That was our default action object. Now we have a real action object. We have a male, and I created an additional one just dragging and dropping, and look, by chance I have a male and a female. Uh, during the next few moments, uh, they will essentially introduce themselves. They will um, become a, a, a breeding pair. If there were other ones around, they uh, the opportunity to um, to associate specific breeding pairs uh, you, you really it's out of your control. So if you want specific breeding pairs, they will only be uh, able to be done if you take them and keep them in a separate environment. And depending on the type of um, uh, depending on the type of uh, settings that the uh, the creator uh, makes for the individual pets, it, it may take longer uh, to make to allow them to be uh, a breeding pair. So, within the next few moments, they will take on the uh, they will do the deed, and you will see within the the dog house um, multiple breeds being created, and that will be the the child uh, child breeds that we have. Created, they'll be authenticated and they'll start their own life. Incest was disabled, so they will not breed with them with each other and, or their own parents. Um, and uh, I can also just to help everybody out here, just pause the video so that when um, so I can cut down on the time. I really don't have much else to say for this, other than there are other events that you can create that make it so that the male and the female go into the the doghouse to um, initiate or let's just say it, uh, to, to copulate and um, when it when that happens you uh, when when the breeding begins that that can happen just as with the food you can make them come to the food um, object and um, you can play animations you can do a whole number of different things uh, put little particle hearts so you know that fly in the air when they're breeding any number of scenarios but as a default scenario um, they they aren't um, they aren't defined to move or they aren't defined to go into their their doghouse to, to copulate at this point in time so within the first um, minute or two um, they will they will begin to breed so I'll keep my camera here my eye out and I'll pause it for now oh, it looks like I don't have to it looks like they had a litter of four little puppies they all ten came out to be males as it, as it seems and remember the the scenario is that it could be an all male could be an all female it could be one or the other but they'll remain there and continue to grow and in an, in another tutorial I'll teach everyone here how to set up movements and how to interact with other avatars and how to interact with other action objects such as toys, food, homes and, and so on and uh, I appreciate you watching this tutorial this is probably one of the more important lessons that I can teach right now okay